welcome trailblazers to today's tutorial where i will be showing you how to create a round robin assigner in order to assign leads evenly and sequentially to members of a call center in this case you will need a package called round robin assigner we will be posting the link to this package in the video description so feel free to install it and follow the instructions in this video since I already have this package installed in my dev org, I'm going to go into my personal dev org and we're going to get started with the creation of a public group that is going to house all of the members of the call center. So let's go into the setup. In the quick find, let's type public, public group. And let's click new to create the public group. In this case, we're going to name this Florida Call Center. And this is going to house the users that are going to be receiving these leads from Florida. Users. And let's add John Smith and Ray Morales. Those are going to be our two reps. Let's hit save. Now, if you click into the public group, you'll notice that it has the, the members of your call center within that public group. So these are the people that are going to be receiving these leads evenly and sequentially, right? So now in the quick find, let's go to process builder. Let's click into process builder and let's create a new process builder. Our process name is going to be Ron Robin Assignments. And the process starts when a record changes. Our object in this case is going to be lead. And we want to start the process only when a record is created. Now let's add a criteria to this node. And our criteria is going to be new Florida lead. And our condition is going to be, our condition is going to be state and province equals Florida, because we want to execute this logic whenever a new lead is created and the state is equal to Florida. Let's hit save. And now let's add our immediate action. Our immediate action is going to call an Apex class. So we select Apex and our action name can be something along the lines of round robin assignments. Our Apex class is going to be called assign object. This is going to be available as soon as you install uh, the, the package from the app exchange. So at this point, we're going to be passing in two parameters. We're going to be passing in the record ID and the group name, the record ID of the lead, which was recently created. And the group name is the label of the public group you just created, not the API name, but the label. So our record ID, we're going to change this to a field reference and we're going to reference the lead ID. Select. And our group name is going to be a string. In this case, our group name is called, let me confirm here and let's go to setup. Public groups. So what we want is the label. So our label for this public group is Florida call center. Let's go back to our process builder and let's name this Florida call center and let's hit save so the process builder is complete at this point let's activate it confirm and you can close this tab so now let's so now what I want to show you is I have an Excel spreadsheet with around the hundred leads that I will be importing into Salesforce just to show you how the leads are distributed evenly and sequentially amongst these two users in the, in the public group. So I'm going to get this data. I'm going to copy it and let's import it into Salesforce. 
we're going to insert leads. We're going to paste it. And let's import. So all the leads have been successfully inserted. And now let me show you the results of that, of those record creations. So if I go into data exports and I run a query to show all of the leads created, ordered by created date descending. Here we see the owner is actually alternating. So here we see that it goes from John to Ray, John Ray, John Ray, and so on. All the way down. So this applies if you have a call center with hundreds of users, this package will essentially distribute these leads evenly and sequentially to those reps. Thank you guys for watching and let's keep blazing the trails ahead.